So you would like to meet a sexy girl in summertime at the beach. Step 1. Look good but not too good. Your goal is to look attractive and approachable, but not like you've spent all day primping and preening for the beach. Comb your hair, but don't overstyle it and choose beach attire that is flattering and comfortable. If you feel confident heading out in nothing but your swimsuit, more power to you, but there's nothing wrong with wearing a t-shirt or polo short and a pair of shorts. Don't forget to apply sunscreen, especially if you're pale. The lobster look might get you some concerned glances, but not a lot of phone numbers. Step 2. Make a plan. It's best to have some ideas in mind for how you might approach women before you head out to the beach. Spend some time thinking about things you might say, and things you could do to attract the girl's notice. Step 3. Consider bringing a buddy or two. Some of the best beach gambits work best with friends. But others work better if you go it alone. Think about what kind of approach you might want to try, and then choose your beach buddies wisely. You want to look like you are having a good time, so bring friends that you enjoy hanging out with. And make sure your friends understand beforehand that you are likely to ditch them for a while, or even the rest of the day, if you meet the right girl. Step 4. Pack your gear. You will want to bring the usual beach stuff, including sunscreen, a towel or blanket, and a cooler with some water bottles. Also bring along some beach toys, including some things that you might not consider standard beach gear for an adult. Consider items like a frisbee, a football, and a bucket and a pail for building sand castles. You're not likely to meet anyone while you're lying around on a towel. You need an excuse to be up and moving around, and toys will make you look like a fun, approachable guy. Step 5. Bring your dog. Dogs are great for meeting women, and the beach is the perfect place to show off your pooch and what a great pet owner you are. Bring a ball and play fetch with your dog on the sand for all to see. Then leisurely whack Fido around on his leash. Assuming your dog is well behaved and cute, you will likely have girls coming up to meet him, and by extension, you. Be aware that some beaches do not allow dogs. Check the local rules before you go. Make sure to be prepared to clean up after your dog. And a responsible dog owner won't score any points with the ladies. Studies have shown that some breeds of dogs are better for picking up women than others poodles, chihuahuas, golden retrievers and labs all rank highly on the list of most attractive pooches. Step 6. Get the lay of the land. Find a place to lay out your towel and spend some time looking around, enjoying the sun. Scan the area for attractive girls, but do so in a friendly, non-leering manner. If you catch a girl's eye, nod and smile or say hello, and then go back to looking around. Make sure to look over again in a few minutes to see if she is checking you out. Step 7. Look like you're having fun. Strutting up and down the beach or posing on your towel might get you looked at, but isn't likely to score you a date. Girls will find you more attractive to you if they see you out playing and having a good time. Get up a game of catch with your friends. Go for a swim. Fly a kite. Start building a sand castle. If you run into a girl during any of these activities, take the opportunity to strike up a conversation. Step 8. Invite the girl to play. Get up a game of frisbee or catch with your buddies, or begin building a sand castle. If you see a girl watching you, give her a smile and wave her over to join you. If she smiles back, but doesn't come over right away, jog over and ask her if she'd like to play. Sometimes a girl will act shy and say no, or I don't know but in a coy way that suggests she'd really like to play. If this seems like the case smiling and giggling are good indicators give her some encouragement. Oh, come on, you'll be brilliant. Or I'll bet you throw a great spiral would both work well. If she says no and does not look amused or inviting, take the hint and let her be. You won't receive any positive attention by being pushy or aggressive. Step 9. Accidentally lose your frisbee or ball near the girl. Another way to get a girl's attention while playing is to accidentally overthrow a ball, or miss a catch so that your ball or a frisbee lands near the girl and you have to approach her to retrieve it. 
Use this as an excuse to say hi and start a conversation. You might start with, sorry about that, the sun was in my eyes. Or my friend can't throw to save his life. Try to make sure your ball doesn't land right on the girl or knock over her stuff. There is a fine line between endearingly clumsy and just plain irritating. Crashing a kite near a girl can also be a good icebreaker, but make sure that you are actually in control of the kite, and don't hit her. Step 10. Offer the girl a bottle of water. Bring a cooler full of ice cold water bottles with you to the beach. If you see a girl you are interested in, you can walk up to her and say hi, I noticed you looked hot and I've got some extra waters here. Would you like one? If she says yes, give her one, and then extend your hand for a handshake and tell her your name and go from there. Hi, I'm Brad, what's your name? Step 11. Ask the girl to guard your stuff. This is a popular gambit for meeting girls at the beach, but it requires ditching your buddies and going it alone. After you've spotted a girl you are interested in, gather up your stuff and ask her if she'd mind watching it for a few minutes while you take a quick swim or surf. Hi, I was hoping to take a quick swim, and was wondering if you'd be willing to look after my stuff. If she agrees, thank her, and consider saying something funny like be careful. I've heard there are some vicious and screen thieves on the loose today. Do go out and swim or surf for a good 20 minutes before returning. When you get back, thank her and playfully ask her if she had any trouble, or had to fight off any sunscreen thieves. Be sure to tell her how much you appreciate her help, and take the opportunity to begin a longer conversation. If things are going well, ask for her number. Better yet, ask her what she's doing later tonight. If she doesn't have plans, make arrangements to meet up with her in a few hours.